Hello, and thank you for taking the time to mentor a future teacher this semester. Your role is vital to MidAmerica's teacher education program and greatly appreciated. This video will take approximately 10 minutes to view and will provide a broad overview of our field experience expectations. You will also find attached a copy of the Practicum Handbook. This resource provides more specific information regarding the different courses, professor contact information, copies of evaluations, and other observation tools to assist you in mentoring this semester. You will also receive more specific information about expectations from the university supervisor. I wanted to take the time to briefly introduce myself. My name is Jill Gonzalez Bravo, and I am the Director of Clinical and Field-Based Experiences. Here is my contact information. Please contact me at any time this semester with your questions or concerns. I also wanted to introduce you to the Education Department's Administrative Assistant, Mrs. Kristen Bell. She is an amazing asset to MNU's Teacher Education Department and plays a vital role in the organization of our practicum in field-based experience. The following are some of the common terms used throughout our teacher education program. There is the University Supervisor, this is also known as the MNU Professor, the Practicum Instructor, or the Practicum Professor. There is the Teacher Candidate that you will be working with this semester, which is the MNU Student or Pre-Service Teacher. We use the term Practicum to also represent a field experience, a Practicum Placement, or a Field Placement. And finally, there's the Cooperating Teacher, which is you, the Classroom Teacher. The following are the general program expectations. Each practicum has an established minimum number of hours. There is some variation in this depending on the course, but the majority of courses require a minimum of 20 hours. This expectation does not include driving time. It is the actual time in the classroom. While some observation is necessary to allow teacher candidates to see a master teacher at work within the classroom and to help them understand classroom expectations and different ma management techniques, we expect our future teachers to be engaged and active assisting students, facilitating small groups, interacting with children, and or possibly co-teaching lessons. We also hope our students will have the opportunity to dialogue with you about the teaching profession and strategies to improve student learning. There are also outcomes specific to the differing practicum courses. These will be shared at the beginning of the course by either the university supervisor or the practicum student. General outcomes include observing the use of technology, the opportunity to observe the application of various learning theories, instructional methodologies, differentiation and assessment techniques. The following are the responsibilities of the pre-service practicum student. It is their job to ensure that you know everything you need to know to make the practicum experience successful and run smoothly. Each practicum student is required to attend a practicum startup meeting. This introduces them to practicum expectations, the handbook, and what they need to share with you. They are expected to contact you to set up the initial meeting. During this meeting, they have been told to discuss practicum goals and requirements and review the handbook and all the required forms that they need to fill out. They also need to establish a practicum experience agreement as to when they will be in your classroom. They will then make three copies of this document. One will be given to you, one for the supervising professor, and one for their files. We encourage students to adhere to the security procedures within your building and buffer arrival time to ensure log time is based on time within the classroom. Our practicum expectations are scaffolded based on student placement within the program. Therefore, there are differing lesson planning expectations based on the course. However, we do expect all lesson plans to be submitted for your approval and feedback at least 48 hours prior to the lesson orchestration. We understand the value of your instructional time and want to ensure that lessons allow for the effective use of class time and student learning. Students also must share lesson plans with their university supervisor and establish a time for the supervisor to observe them teach. If you have an any additional lesson plan format that you would 
prefer them to use, please inform the university supervisor. We utilize a Madeline Hunter format for observed lessons. This is also located in the practicum handbook. At the conclusion of the practicum, you will be asked to complete a final evalu evaluation through a service we use called TaskStream. TaskStream is an online data service that allows us to keep track of student performance over time. This evaluation contributes to the student's professional documentation and final course grade. You will be contacted with login information towards the end of the practicum experience. You will also be provided with directions, therefore we won't spend time um, giving a full explanation right now. Just know that you will be receiving an email at the end of the semester and that will direct you to complete the evaluation. Your practicum student can assist you with the use of this service as they are very familiar with it. We would also encourage you to share the evaluation with the practicum student. This will serve to both encourage and refine their skills as future teachers. The evaluation is on a four-point scale. If the student receives more than two ones on the evaluation, they will be required to repeat the practicum. We highly emphasize professional dispositions and have high expectations for our teacher candidates. We emphasize that they are not only representing themselves and the university, but they are representing Christ in both word and deed. We encourage our pre-service teachers to show love and respect for their community and display servant leadership. One way we encourage them to exhibit respect is to dress both professionally and modestly. We expect them to show initiative, be prompt and courteous to all within their path, and to be consistent in meeting your expectations, the university expectations, and their own personal and professional goals and expectations. If there is an issue with any aspect of your practicum student's professional disposition, please complete a professional disposition's concern form, which is located in Appendix F, and send it to the Director of Clinical and Field-Based Experiences and the University Supervisor via email. You can also send us a general email regarding your concerns. We hope that you feel comfortable addressing the situation with the student. However, if you do not, please know that we have a method to address and document disposition issues, so your communication with us about concerns is vital. Also, please know that we not only want our students to understand content, but we also want them to acquire the qualities and characteristics of an effective educator. We encourage you to have these same high expectations and do not hesitate to contact us with any concerns. Now I'd like to discuss the role of the cooperating teacher. This is you. Again, we want to encourage you to challenge our students academically and professionally in regards to their dispositions as a future classroom teacher. You provide support for them and provide an opportunity for them to teach in a safe environment supported and mentored by an experienced educator. We want our students to be innovative and believe that exposure to innovative instruction will foster this. You are the eyes and ears of the university in the field placements. You have the opportunity to observe them a lot more than teacher education faculty actually executing the skills of an effective educator. Therefore, we rely on you to assist with the evaluation of our candidates. We welcome you to share praises or concerns with us and provide us with feedback to assist in the continual refining of our program and to develop effective educators capable of meeting the needs of each student in their classroom. Please share with students school policies and procedures so that the school students understand the culture and expectations. Finally, at the conclusion of the practicum experience, we ask that you complete an evaluation of the teacher candidate and the MNU program. The student is familiar with the TaskStream platform and can assist you with login and navigation. All forms and documentation sheets are located in the practicum handbook. Students are required to utilize the lesson plan template. There is also a rubric that we utilize to assess lesson plan effectiveness. 
All of the agreement and timesheets are located in the appendix as well as a portion of the evaluation form that you will complete on TaskStream. There are two components for this evaluation. The first component is on professional dispositions. This is the same for all practicum courses. The second component focused on content and methodologies taught in regard to the specific practicum course. University supervisors will provide you with more specific course content. There is also a copy of the MNU faculty observation visit form. This will provide you with an overview of university expectations. Feel free to use this document as you observe the teacher candidate. Students appreciate your feedback at the conclusion of their planned lessons. Again, these forms are available to you, however, the teacher candidate is responsible for all the required documentation. One final initiative I'd like to mention is our Clinical Mentoring Team, or CMT. This teaching excellence team was created to establish the highest quality pool of cooperating teachers to mentor future educators capable of meeting the needs of each student placed within their classroom. The program also allows the university an opportunity to give back to those schools and mentors that have assisted us in the teacher preparation process. The Teaching Excellence Team is created through partnerships with education communities surrounding the metropolitan area. Districts interested in this K-20 endeavor provide us with a list of mentor nominees that they have identified as not only excellent teachers, but as effective mentors. The university then sends out an application inviting the candidates to apply for the program. The CMT nominee is observed once by university faculty for 15 or 20 minutes. This is our way to confirm with our accrediting body that we do know the mentors with whom our students are being placed. We then send out an acceptance letter to the mentor and school principal to confirm the partnership. We recognize that the mentor's role is vital to the development of effective future teachers. Previously, and what you will find in many other programs, is that a mentor's time was considered to be volunteered and recognized as a service to the teaching profession solely. While this is still true, we would like to also contribute to the professional development of our CMT members. Though we are unable to provide you with large cash incentives, we can provide opportunities for free professional development to our partnering, partnering schools and mentors. Schools will be provided with a list of available speakers that have a diverse array of areas of expertise, training, and workshop offerings to support school improvement. Each year, members will also be invited to attend a professional development session that addresses a variety of topics in education. Dinner and childcare are always provided. The following is a list of participating practicum course instructors. The practicum handbook has their contact information. They will be contacting you with more specific course expectations early in the practicum experience. Students will review with you practicum requirements during their first meeting. If you have any other questions or concerns, please feel free to contact the university supervising professor or me at any time with questions regarding the practicum experience. Again, this is Jill Gonzalez Bravo and my contact information is on the screen. Thank you so much for your time and we look forward to a fantastic semester.